I can't even believe Aaron Rodgers did this, Skip. I have so I have lost so much respect. I'm ashamed of him right now. I think we're seeing a very different side of Aaron Rodgers. And I think we're seeing a side of Aaron Rodgers that people are really, really disgusted by. I'm making the decision that's based on what's best for me and my own health. And for me, it was a no-brainer. He literally is sitting home because he might kill someone. First, he, he endangers people's lives. Then he doesn't take responsibility and makes up some story. Then he blames the woke crowd. He, he should speak at the Republican convention. The problem with this is it is so political. And health should not be political. He gave this interview on Friday that was just... It was just so damaging, uh, promoting conspiracy theories, attacking the cancel culture and the woke mob, you know, saying how Joe Rogan was his expert analysis. While he says he talks to Harvard MDs about stuff, it was Joe Rogan that really guided him. He took stuff that is for horses. Ivermectin is a cattle dewormer. Sorry, folks, that's what it is. The embarrassment was going to begin as soon as he pointed out Joe Rogan as one of his touchstones of his critical thinking. I'm going to critically think about what's best for my own health. I'm not judging anybody else. What we've got today with this interview is a public figure spreading misinformation. Aaron Rodgers is comfortable sitting down for 50 minutes and spewing verbal diarrhea that we can all react to. It is a devastating prospect, uh, the ramifications of what this guy is doing and what he's saying. He sounds like a crackpot. Have they talked about exercise, a healthy diet, like eating real food, drinking water, taking vitamins, vitamin D deficiency and, and what that causes in the body. No, there hasn't been any of that. I, I think that was a, a rant um, that went off the rails several times, uh, divorced from reality at, at almost every turn. You came across as a national embarrassment. Do you think Aaron Rodgers set the dumb jock stereotype back? I'm gonna have the best immunity possible now based on the 2.5 million person study from Israel that the people who get COVID and recover have the most robust immunity. For him to perpetuate that, um, I guess it just shows us that he doesn't care. But he is trying to portray this as if he is feeling better now, he's doing better now, because of this cocktail of drugs and medications. But when you have a horse deworming medication that's discouraged by the government, that actually causes some people in this crazed environment we're in to actually want to try it. So things are clearly bad, but they're being made even worse by people who have refused to take the vaccine and instead are swallowing horse paste. Wait, 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 wait a second. He, he said that he got better because he ate he said cattle he's been, dewormer. He, they must know that that's a lie. You have individuals like Joe Rogan, for example, who, uh, who don't want to take an experimental vaccine but will take horse dewormer. Well, well, well. well if well, it isn't well. old horse worm Rogan. <laughs> so for you, Joe Rogan, yes. I would say you've had it. Yes. So now get one shot of the vaccine. No. Why not? Because I have better immunity than I would if I was vaccinated. But does he, Sanjay? Also, he's not a doctor. He sure is talking like one, as if he is one, though. By the way, it was three hours of that, just to give you an idea. I mean, it was a lot of mental gymnastics.